Nam the Kano must surrender for Eagles to become president in 2023. Even with the widespread COVID-19, otherwise called COVID-19 pandemic outbreak in Nigeria, and the world generally permutations and calculations for 2023 are underway. The Eagles have long been agitating for power shifts and to have a turn at the helm of affairs of the nation. The Eagles sincerely have been neglected and have been treated as second-class citizens. And this is what led to the agitation for Biafra, a country of their own. It is certain that Nigeria is definitely not ready to allow the Igbo nation break out from this country. And therefore, there is the need to fulfill their long-term and desire to rule Nigeria. However, for a citizen of ego extraction to become the grand commander of the armed force of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, this is what they need to do. First, the Eagles need to come back to mainstream politics in order to complete the Nigerian political tripod. What do I mean? It could not have been better said that the Eagles need to do everything. The message here is direct and simple, that every part of this great country needs the other survive and progress. To achieve this, we must first move hatred, then agree and avarice. I have never taken any of the agitators for the split of the Nigerian Union seriously for the reason such persons give are often selfish, lacking depth and forthrightness. They are hypocrites whose main aim is to fight for their own and not for any group or region, lest the nation. What baffles me is why the Eagles, a people with great intellect and energy, have refused to see beyond the same reasons that led to the civil war of over 50 years ago that held the nation down for more than three years. Unfortunately, the Eagles won't listen to those who instigated and fought the war, but will rather allow those who were not even born then to stay their direction. So it is like nothing was learned since those hundreds of thousands of lives were buried in the war field of Olo, Abagana, etc. Today, when the Southeast talks about being marginalized, I simply ask, how can a region produce a president if it does not have a political party or platform of its own in a country of over 200 million people? Buhari became president after more than two losses, despite returning more than a huge 12 million votes in each election, but not until he merged and worked with others to forge a more formidable party that could stand the rigors of a national election. That is the lesson. No region can have it if it won't let go, and nobody will give you what you don't deserve. Nigeria is on a tripod. Each leg has same right to the Commonwealth 
and can aspire to get to the greatest height in the land. But the three major regions that makes the legs must work together to make the triple stand. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, viewers, <laughs> to start with, Buari became president not because of any merging with any group. It was simply because an ego like a president in Jonathan decided to count votes which he very wouldn't have counted as apparent in 2019. Igbo's agitation intensified only in this. Very invented government of exclusion during Shagari. Igbo man was a vice. Abacha created states and treated every region equal and so many other goodies from various governments. However, once worry entered, everything changed as Igbos are in one's apartheid South Africa. That's the major reason for this agitation. And this agitation will continue until this administration get it right. In fact, the agitation will not stop. Biafran is already at the corner and will surely be achieved. The Igbos are not even after presidency. What beside their conditions? They are not after any conditions. Mazi Inabikano will not surrender anything. It will not stop the move for Biafra actualization. He will not surrender. Those that want to become president can go on and become president. Why Biafrans go on with the actualization? I want to say that submission after going through so many so many, so many struggle and pain so many lives dropped just because of the struggle. And now someone around the corner is now saying that until Mazi Inamikano surrender the agitation before Igbos can be allowed to become president, they can go on with their presidency seats. Biafrans are not interested. You see, this article that has just been read should be seen as a holy advice to the Nigerians and Igbos in particular. No political seats I'm telling the Igbos now, no political seats will be unleashed to the Igbos because Nigeria is known to be a greedy nation. They are only deceiving the Igbos because they have seen the level at which Biafran realization has gotten to. So after deceiving them, they will not push them out and make the Biafrans to forget where they are heading to. So I am making this known to Biafrans, not to listen to any of them. They should allow the, those greedy politicians, Igbo politicians, those greedy Igbo governors who have been aspiring to become Nigerian president to go on and let Biafrans go on with their realization. Because it is only when Biafrans achieve their realization that there will be peace. You see these people, 
they have their reasons why they don't want their friends to leave. They know, and they know it well, that Biafra, by the time Biafra leaves, is going to be hot for them. That they are getting any glory and praise from any international country is as a result of the Biafran land, the Biafran resources. What the Biafrans have left behind in their land. So the Biafrans must create that boundary. Let them focus on their own on their own land. The Afrans want to focus on their own land. Nigeria is a, a greedy country. Whether Amechi and we can make peace within themselves is not the business of Biafran. It is good. Yes, they should make peace. They should make peace. But the peace they should make should be for the favor of the Biafran and not for Nigeria. And not because they, 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 they want, uh, they want uh, 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 they, they, they become president. That is a problem. If they make peace because they want to become president of Nigeria, that is their own problem. But for their own betterment, let their making peace with each other be be for the betterment of Biafra and realization. So viewers, please don't forget to leave your comments behind. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated anytime I upload new videos.